everyone, I'm Liz from Shelby Senior Services. Um, because we're all stuck at home, not getting our usual amount of movement in, um, we have decided to record some workouts for you guys. So today we're going to go through our typical Tuesday workout. Um, typically takes around half an hour to 45 minutes. We'll see how long this one is. Um, I'll walk you through step by step what we're going to do. Um, if you need to take a water break or anything at any time, go ahead and feel free to do so. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with some stretches, then we'll move on to some arm weights, or arm workouts with weights. Um, get up behind our chair, do some leg exercises, sit back down, do a few more arm, arm exercises, and then cool down stretches, and we're all done. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. You're going to take your right arm, reach it straight across your chest, push in with, on your elbow with your left hand. Just feel that stretch across your shoulder. switch. Take your left arm across, push on that elbow with your right hand, and again push until you feel that stretch across your shoulder blades. Alright. I'm going to take that right arm straight up, reach right down behind your back, use your left hand to push that elbow back, you can go straight in front of your face or up above your head to pull that elbow in and just hold it there and stretch. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch. So left arm straight up, reach right down behind your back. Use your right arm to pull that elbow in. Feel that stretch in your arm. All right. You're going to take that right arm straight out. You're going to pull your fingertips back towards you with your left hand. Feel that stretch in your wrist and arm. All right, we're going to flip our wrist down and push that hand back with the left. switch over to that left hand and again use those use that right hand to pull those left fingertips back feel that stretch and again flip that wrist down and push that hand back and keeping that arm out straight shoulders around to the back. Lift them straight up and down. All right, going to roll those shoulders around to the front. move on to the legs, stretch those out a little bit. So we're going to take our right leg straight out. We're just going to roll that foot around in a circle, stretch out that ankle and calf muscle. Going to roll that ankle around the opposite way. Let's 
switch over to that left leg, so hold that straight out. Again, roll that foot around in a circle. And around the opposite way again. Take both of those feet straight out in front of you. You're going to point your toes and flex them back towards you. All right. I'm going to use our stretch band for the first time. You're going to go ahead and hook it around your right foot. Once you do that, take that foot straight out in front of you. And use that band just to kind of help hold your leg out there. Stretch that calf muscle out. And hold it. Now we're going to take your right leg out to the side. Hold it out there. Feel that stretch. Bring it back to the front. We're going to switch over to the left leg. Do the same thing. Just hook that band around your left foot. Pull it straight up. And feel that stretch again. Take it out to the side. Again, hold it. And back to the front. And back down. Going to keep a hold of that stretch band. Take an end in each hand. And take it straight above your head. And lean over to the side. Normally, it doesn't really matter which side you start with. We switch. So either way is good. straight up, over to the opposite way, you should feel that stretch along your arm and side. Alright, go ahead and set that band down, we're going to pick up the weight. We typically start with a two pound or three pound weight depending on what you're comfortable with um, and then progress from there. All right, so we're going to start holding the, holding the weight in our right hand. Just going to hold it straight out in front of you. I'm going to just do normal curls. So just up to your shoulder and back down. We typically do 10 in, on each side and then switch over to the opposite. Last one. Alright, we're going to switch over to the left side. You're just going to do the same thing. Pull that weight up to your shoulder and bring it straight back down. One more. All right, we're going to switch back over to that right hand and hold it straight down on our right side. You're just going to pull that weight up about to your armpit and straight back down. Just pull that elbow out to the side, weight straight up, and back down into the starting position. One more. 
we're just going to switch over to that left side. And same thing, just hold it straight down, take that elbow out to the side and pull that weight straight up along your side. One more. All right. I'm going to hold that weight and end in each hand. Hold it just under your chin. I'm going to lift it straight up with both arms and back down. One more. All right. This time we're going to hold the weight again in our right hand. You're just going to rest that forearm right on your leg. You're going to hang your wrist over your knee. You're just going to pull that weight back. Try and move just your wrist. Doesn't have to be too far, just as far as you can. It's not the same for everyone. Just going to flip our wrist over, keep it in that right hand, and you're going to do the same thing just in the opposite direction. One more. Go ahead and switch over to the left hand. And again, rest that forearm right onto your leg with your wrist hanging just over your knee. With your palm facing down again, pull that weight back towards you and try and move just your wrist. One more and we're just going to flip that wrist over again like we did with the right and again pull it back towards you moving just your wrist and one more all right gonna move it back over to that right side again Going to hold the weight out, out to the side of your shoulder. Just going to take that straight up and straight back down. One more. And again, we'll switch on over to the left side. Hold that straight outside your shoulder. Take it straight up and back down again. This time we're going to hold the end of the weight with both hands. I'm going to carefully take it straight back behind your head. I'm just going to lift it straight up and return it back down behind your head.
one more. All right, and bring it back down in front of you. All right, for this one, we're going to turn to the side of our chair. Like I said earlier, it doesn't matter really which side. You're going to switch to the other one after this. With your arm on the outside of the chair, so the back of the chair should be on the opposite side, you're going to hold that weight at your knee. You're going to swing straight back, trying to keep your elbow by your side, and bring that weight back to your knee. One more. All right, I'm just going to turn around in that chair over to the other side. And again, you're going to use your opposite arm this time, the arm outside of the chair. Again, hold it at your knee and take it straight back and try and keep your elbow close to your side. One more. All right, we're going to turn back around to the front of the chair, set that weight down on your side, close to the chair so it's out of your way when you get up. So we're going to get up, stand up behind the chair. You like to go up behind the chair so that way you have the, the back of it to hold on for balance. We're going to do some leg exercises. So we are going to start with our right leg. We like to keep trying just two fingers on the chair. That way, like I said, it's just there for balance. You don't want to use it as support. We're going to start with our right leg. You're going to take it out to the side. Keep your toe pointed forward and back down. One more. I'm going to switch over to that left side. We're going to do the same thing. Just take it straight out to the side. Try and keep that toe forward and two fingers on the back of the chair just to try and keep and help your balance. feet flat on the floor, about shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. And again, if you need those two fingers on the chair, feel free. I'm going to go up onto the balls of your feet and back down. And just continue. to the right leg again. This time we're going to take it straight behind us and back down. Do one more. We're going to switch over to that left leg again. You're going to do the same exact thing. Just take it straight behind you and back down to the floor. One more. All right. Next.
Next, we're going to turn our toes outward, like first position in ballet. You're going to go up onto the balls of your feet again and back down. One more. All right. This time we're going to turn to the side of our chair. You're going to start with your leg closest to the chair. You're just going to take it straight out in front of you and back down. One more. I'm going to flip around to the other side. And again, you're going to start with your leg closest to the chair. I'm going to take it straight up and back down. One more. All right, we're going to face that front again. This time, I'll go to the side so you can see me. We're going to turn our toes inward, toes almost touching each other. And again, up onto the balls of your feet, and back down. going to go ahead and take a seat again. Once you sit down, you're going to bend over, pick your weight back up. And again, we're going to start on that right side. So you're going to hold the weight straight down at your side. Going to take it, lift it straight out, just about shoulder level, and back down. And just continue. Going to go ahead and switch over to that left side. And again, you're going to start with it straight down at your side, lift it straight out, shoulder level, and back down. One more. All right. Going to hold that weight back at your right side again. Straight at your shoulder. I'm going to take it out to the side and back up. One more. I'm going to switch over to that left side again. So again, hold it at your shoulder. You're going to take it out to the side and back up to that shoulder. One more.
one more. All right, I'm going to switch back to our right hand one more time. Going to hold that weight straight out in front of you, about at your knee. I'm going to take that end up to your shoulder and back down. One more before we switch on over to that left hand. And we're going to do the same thing. Make sure that weight is vertical. Take the end up to your shoulder and back down. One more. All right. I'm going to go ahead and set that weight down. We're done with it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take our elbows out to the side. You're going to put your palms together in the middle. Make sure that those elbows are out nice and straight. You're going to push those palms together in the middle and just hold it. Should feel a stretch across your chest muscles. Lift that right leg straight up, just hold it in the air. Gonna use your right hand, put your palm on your knee, press that down, and hold it. All right, gonna switch on over to the left leg, just hold it up in the air, use your left palm, Press that knee down and hold it in place. And relax. Right. You're going to pick up that stretch band one more time. Going to hook it around your right foot again and bring that right leg straight out in front of you. Take that leg out to the side and hold it. And back to the front. All right, and we're going to switch on over to that left leg again. Hook that band around the foot and take it straight out in front of you. And stretch. Take that leg out to the side and hold it. And back to the front. And let that leg rest. Leg <laughs> rest. All right. Again, you're going to take the end of the band in each hand. Take it straight up above you and over to the side. All right, take that band straight up above your head, over to the opposite side, and feel that stretch. All right. 
Go ahead and sit that band down. All right, we're going to do some cool down stretches. You can take our right arm again, stretch it straight across you. Use that left hand to push that elbow in. Feel that stretch in your shoulder. We're going to switch. Take that left arm straight across. Use that right hand to push that elbow in. Again, we're going to take that right arm straight up, reach down behind your back, use that left hand to pull that elbow in. All right, we're going to switch. Again, left arm up, reach straight down behind your back, use that right arm. Pull that elbow. All right. Pull that right arm straight out in front of you. Use your left to pull those fingertips back. Flip that wrist down, push that hand back, and keeping that arm straight, feel that stretch. All right, we're going to switch over to the left hand, use your right to pull those fingertips back towards you. down, push that hand back, and again, make sure you're keeping it out straight. All right, going to roll those shoulders around to the back, just in a circular motion. switch around to the front. All right, we're going to take that head, we're going to go to the side, roll around to the back, roll around to the side, and down. Gonna continue to the side, back, side, and down. One more time. All right, and we're gonna roll around the opposite way. So over to that left side, round to the back, side, down. Over to the side again, to the back side, down, and do one more time, side, back, side, down. We're going to take a deep breath in, and out. We've done our first, first exercise video for the Senior Center. Thanks for participating with me. I hope you made it all the way through. Um, we hope to make more of these, and um, we'll let you know when we do. Thanks. Bye.